told you to leave this town. I don't give a shit what you said. How did I come up with the accent for Boyka? It's a bit of a funny story, I guess. Everybody always asked me that question, and it was kind of easy, to be honest. I'm a big Sylvester Stallone fan, so obviously I've watched Rambo 3 quite a few times. And the, uh, the bad guy in Rambo 3, I always remembered his voice. Who is this, John Rambo? <laughs> and so when I started thinking about Yuri Boyka, I couldn't stop thinking about this guy from Rambo 3. I, I forget the actor's name. Good actor. And uh, he just had this thing in his voice where he spoke like this, Betsnes. And then I adapted that voice, made it a little bit deeper, you know. And uh, somewhere here I found Boyka, Yuri Boyka. For some reason my lip curls up like this when I do him, which I don't know why, but it helps. Bring me your fucking champion. If we didn't know Scott was born in London, you would expect him to be Russian. I mean, he, he, he is a guy who can play a lot of different roles, um, but he's really channeled Boyko over the years um, and grew into this character. He brings in a personality and determination and the effort that I haven't seen with any other actor. These action set pieces that we have in the movie are brutal. Um, so a guy who spends tirelessly in the gym 24-7 um, training and when he gets on set, I mean, he puts everything on the line. That's why our sequences look so um, unbelievable because um, they're real, you know. The sweat that you see, the blood that you see, I mean, a lot of that is just Scott putting everything into every shot that he has. The action sequences excite me the most to shoot, but it's, it's not an excitement of, oh, I can't wait to do that. I actually dread the action sequences because I know how much pressure I put on myself to not only done what I've done before, but to raise the bar. And when you've done things that people consider to be, I guess, you know, pretty high up there, uh, raising the bar is not easy. You just gotta get it into your head so that when they say action, you're not thinking, what's the next move? It just, you, you're not thinking, it's happening. Because, you know, you do it so quickly that you can't, you can't actually think about it. It just has to be a reactive thing, so. Repetition, repetition, repetition. You just go over the fights again and again and again until it's natural. And that's martial arts.